Well, how do you do, buckaroos? Boy, that's a nice head on there. And who doesn't like some head, man? Anyways, hey, I'm Tom Beer Whisper. How the heck are you? I'm having a Lagunitas Lucky 13, 8.8% 55 IBUs, described as a Mondo Large Red Ale. How about that? I don't really have a purpose for this video. It's not just about the beer. It's really not about anything. I'm mean, watching me, it's like a Seinfeld episode. It's not about anything, man. <laughs> it's not about me, it's not about you. No, I just felt like having a beer sitting outside and talking. Who knows where it'll go? <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh. It's the first time I'd had this one. Oh, well, today isn't, but buying this six-pack was the first time I'd had this in, in quite a while. It used to only uh, come in bombers. I used to buy it a lot up until several years ago, and it's not that I got tired of it, but then the selection of craft beer became just so incredible that I was just buying other stuff. But it was a, I found it in a six-pack. Uh, for nine ninety eight, so for ten bucks a six pack, boy howdy, I picked her up. Boy howdy, <laughs> I do like this beer though. Um, I mean, it, it's just it's just big. I like that they call it a Mondo Red Large Red Ale and not any sort of an IPA, which seems to be the trend. Uh, there is a lot of hops going on, but there's a whole lot of malt. It's very malt sticky, a tad sweet. Uh, but there certainly is enough hoppage to take her down to a manageable level. <laughs> but yeah, there is a lot of malt. There really is a fine beer, though. I really love it. It's not trendy to make these big malty beers these days, but I'm glad they make this one because it's just a masterpiece, in my opinion. It's a whole lot of big sticky malt. <laughs> It finished off by a whole lot of pungent hops. It's just nice all around, man. It is. It's just gorgeous. I've been doing some videos out front lately because I got this neighbor, this candy ass chicken shit, cowardly ass neighbor. I don't know who it is. It's a problem. Who keeps calling the city on us, you know, every chance they get. I mean, for piddly ass shit. I mean, we had some stuff should have been picked up a little earlier. I'm not going to dispute that, but they could have been decent human beings and knocked on my door, right? Didn't have to be cowardly chicken shit about, you know. They could have knocked on my damn door. I'd explained it to them. If that wasn't good enough, then they could have made a phone call. But no, they're nosy ass cowardly chicken shits, and I hope so how some way that somebody that knows him watches my video and shows it to him. <laughs> that and I hope they happen to be walking by and just get pissed off and walk up and say, what are you doing drinking beer outside? So I can fucking tell them. <laughs> you know, it's not that I necessarily enjoy confrontation because I don't. But I don't back away from it either. You know, I, I I certainly prefer confrontation to folks that ignore it completely. There are folks that like to start stuff. We all know who these folks are. I know a few on social media like to start stuff. And the second you call them on it, they, they back away and act like nothing happened. Cowardly ass chicken shit, babe. It drives me nuts. It's like the dislike button on the YouTube videos. Now, I get that some people might not like me. That's okay. You don't like me. That's all right. You don't have to watch me. But you have to be an ass about it. You know what I mean? If you've got something to say, there's a comment section. Say, hey, I didn't like that you said this. Okay. Well, there you go. But but but, but the, the dislike button shouldn't be called the dislike button. It should be the cowardly ass chicken shit button. Because it's just cowardly. It's anonymous. Nobody knows why you're upset. We just know you're a dick. Maybe that's it. It's called the dick button, you know. And there's a lot of dicks out there in social media and watching YouTube videos just to hit that dislike button and be a dick. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to refer to it from now. Someone hit the dick button. <laughs> Fucking dicks hit the dick button. Well, I mean, if you got a legitimate gripe, how about say in the comment section? You know, you don't necessarily have to call names. You, you can if you if because if you're smart enough and have a decent enough vo vocabulary, you can say, Tom, I didn't like this about this. Da, 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 da. If you want to call me a name, can you say, Tom, you're an obnoxious ass. That's okay. I'll take that. I've been called worse. I've been called that. <laughs> but the dislike button just frustrates me because oh.
with me while I drool all over myself. The dislike button frustrates me because it's anonymous. You know, I don't know who you are. So you're just being a dick for no re other reason than you just want to be a dick at that moment. And that's the thing, that, that these people that just go around hitting the dislike button and not leaving a comment, that's 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 why they're doing it. They just want to be dicks. They, just like this neighbor that keeps calling. He doesn't, you know, he just wants to be a dick. If he really wanted some change, he'd come knock on my door and talk to me like a decent fucking human being. But no, he just wants to be a dick. Just like the people that hit the dislike button. They're dicks. How about that? I don't want to say how many times I can work dick into the... <laughs> dick, 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 dick. Oh. oh yeah uh there's again there's some nice citrus that comes out right at the very end again you get grapefruit you expect to get some grapefruit but i get some some almost tart lemon like notes right near the end too uh, and, and then then there's some some pine and there's some other things that are working its way through it's just a beer that has a lot going on and i love the fact that there's a whole lot of malt in there too but if people are shying away from malt these days i like the for things to get back to how they used to be before there was a disturbance in the force where people could make a multi beer again like you know like Lagunitas is still doing because they got a pair of balls they're not afraid to go outside the box they're not hitting the cowardly dislike button they're not calling the city on people they've got enough balls to tell you to your face what they're doing but no there's so many dicks out there <laughs> I worked dick in one more time fucking dicks <laughs> so i'm hoping that that i kind of see i don't have it I, I don't have the proof right i gotta narrow down to a couple folks um and, and and one of them who i think it is walks around here a lot and, and sometimes they would every time they drive by they go very slow looking for, for just about anything they can get, you know, they just need to go into the bathroom, unfurl their fucking panties, <laughs> pull their panties out to crack. So the same people that hit the dislike button. You know, you need to go to the potty, pull their panties out to crack, and start acting like a decent human being again. Fucking dicks. Well, I've got to put a warning label on this video. Please do not watch this video if you're offended easily. If you're a cowardly ass chicken shit prick. <laughs> So I said prick. This would be a little different that time. <laughs> if you're a pain in the ass, little asshole that just likes to fuck with people for no reason. You don't have the courage to to see them face to face. You gotta make phone calls or hit the fucking dislike button because you're a cowardly little fucking prick. See, now I've switched to prick. I like prick better now. So now I'm going to see how many times I've worked prick into the video now. Fucking prick. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. I digress. I digress. I digress. You see, I've said this a hundred times before that I use these videos as kind of a stress reliever. See, if I were to ram ramble on like this in front of my wife, she just shakes her head. Uh, but see, when I do it for you guys, you know, you can either watch me or not. <laughs> some appreciate my candor, uh, some don't. Uh, some are cowardly ass little pricks who are mad because I'm calling them candy ass little pricks. But you candy ass little pricks, you know who you are. <laughs> quit being a candy ass little prick and I'll quit calling you out for being one. How about that? Let's make a deal right now. Quit acting like an ass and I'll quit treating you like one. How about that? Let, let's, let's make a deal. <laughs> you fucking pricks. <laughs> I got it in one more time. Cheers. Uh, Mondo large red ale indeed. Mondo mongo. <laughs> mongo like Mondo large red ale. <laughs> mongo only pun in game of life. Uh, mongo. <laughs> oh man. Just trying to get by, man. You know, I mean, we got enough going on without some prick making phone calls and all they had to do was knock on my door you know i wouldn't have been an ass to them they could have said hey you know you got this going on you got that going on so you know my wife's been sick this and that i'm working on getting the rest of it taken it'll be done by x date and if that wasn't good enough they could have made a phone call but no they don't have the balls to come to me you know again 
<laughs> just like chicken shit little bastards that hit the dislike button. Hey, leave a fucking comment. It's right there, you know. But you don't need to be a chicken shit little bastard. Chicken shit little bastard, chicken shit little bastard, chicken shit little bastard. See, now I've changed again. See, I, I do have some other words in my vocabulary. You fucking pricks. <laughs> These folks are lucky that I'm a relatively poor guy because if I had the money, I'd buy me a big freaking rooster statue, stick it right smack dab in the middle of my front freaking yard, and paint Eat Me across it. Eat my... <laughs> they are dabs. Ugh. Man, they are lucky I don't have the money to do that because if I did, oh my lord, I would. I would. If I could find... <laughs> Go through a, an old sign yard that happens to have some of these statues for sale. If I could ever pick one up affordably, boy, you better believe I'm sticking a six foot tall rooster in my front yard and paint eat me across them. <laughs> Sons of bitches have no idea who they screwed with. <laughs> oh. oh, excuse me. I got a handful of serious homophobic neighbors, so. If it's one of them, I was thinking about getting a half dozen pride flags and putting them all across the house just to make them wonder. I'm going to do any damn thing to piss these people off. I'm going to, even if it's something small, I'm going to find some way to irritate those chicken shit little pricks. <laughs> there you go. That's the end of the, for this episode of What Chaps My... Yes, I'll talk to you later. <laughs>